Let's design the po the perfect. Is there is there a perfect system? There's no perfect system, but I, I, there is a lot of research on better voting systems. Um, I'd like to point out one that's uh, underway right now. Actually, it, it's uh, uh, the one that's hap it's called Star Vote. It's happening in Texas. Uh, the uh, um, what's her name? Clerk of uh, Dana De Beauvoir is her name, but their, her office is uh, she's clerk of uh, uh, the county of Travis County, which holds Austin, Texas, as one of its things. And that was designed by a lot. Uh, a number of people. It's based on paper ballots, but it also has um, some cryptography in there in nice ways. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, and uh, it's in the, in the process of being uh, developed, and, and uh, I think there's an RFP out now for it. Uh, but it has lots of very nice properties. For one thing, here's a property you may not have heard of. A voter can uh, go after the election to a website and check that their vote was recorded properly. Uh, and that's a delicate... I love that. Yeah, it's nice. You go there and you just type in your name. But you, of course, your, have uh, to verify that because otherwise it's not a private uh, vote. So there's some cryptography used. So you can't use that mechanism to sell your vote. It's okay. tricky. Okay. Uh, so your vote gets encrypted in a certain way and you have to be uh, looking How at the How do they authenticate? Uh, so it's an, a poll site voting system. So you go there in person to vote. Uh, so it's not an online voting. This, mm -hmm. this is only using the Internet for after the election verification that your vote was cast properly or not after the, the, the – so you go in, on election day. You go. You cast your paper ballot. It's scanned. Electronic record is made. Um, and, and then uh, there's a website that has uh, an encrypted electronic version of that. Uh, posted and you can go and see. Yeah, there's a vote recorded for you, and uh, and uh, it's the vote that it should be, uh, and it's done in a in a subtle cryptographic way that allows you to know that it's recording the right vote without you, allowing you to be able to sell it. So so I think that's a, a very promising direction. I look forward to seeing that roll out successfully. So my agenda would be, uh, go to precinct can scanned. I, I like this star system as well, but if we go lower tech and use existing proven technology that doesn't require any research. Um, what I'd love to see is across the United States, precinct scan optical scan ballots. So, so that's where you put your ballot in the polling place into a scanner, uh, which counts the votes then and there. Um, coupled with more, uh, want some of these better auditing systems that we've talked about. And then the very highest priority is to stop the, stop the deployment of, systems that actually make the election system worse, right? So it's a sad thing that not only do we have to think about improving our voting system, we have to uh, avoid doing things that unimprove it. And uh, internet voting would be the very top of my list of things we shouldn't do. So all the geeks watching, and this show, of course, is primarily for <laughs> geeks, stop asking for online voting internet voting it's not a it's not a good idea you can see we you can see uh it's it's really interesting and i agree with you david when you said that uh if you're a serious uh, uh technical person you don't always vote for the most uh, high tech answer sometimes uh Sometimes yeah, the key thing is there is the evidence. Solution. If you're a geek who wants to think about voting systems, the thing to think about is not only how do you make the counting accurate, but how do you make the evidence trail believable? Right. right. So you have to have uh, some kind of evidence trail that uh, is convincing to the loser that he lost fair and square. And if that evidence trail is produced by a corrupted computer, you've got a real problem. Right. The, Travis counting does allow early voting. Um, is that okay? Is that a good? I mean, it's still poll side, right? That's fine with me. Yeah. In fact, it's better because I, the whole notion of everybody voting all at once on a Tuesday is a kind of second Tuesday of November. It's kind of kooky. Yeah, I'd be in favor I think of a national, ho national holiday for voting. There you go. Yeah. You know, some people have to work hard on Tuesdays. And right. so I like the idea that they can vote early. Yeah. So uh, early voting, but it's poll side voting. Uh, uh, they have uh, a large population in Travis County. So this is a good test. They're going to use uh, this uh, star system uh, this time around? They're in the process of getting it. Uh, I think it's an RFP out, so they need to get uh, okay. manufacturers to, to produce it. And so, so they on. still need the hardware uh, to make this happen. That's right. But the work has been so, done. And the, there's a Usenix paper if people want to uh, read up on this. Uh, uh, um, uh, Star Vote, a secure, transparent, audible, and auditable and reliable voting So that, that's very interesting. I, I do agree with David's remarks, though, too, that you know, getting most – States, most or all uh, uh, counties to use uh, precinct level optical scan is a, is a great next step for all of us to yeah. be doing. Yeah. And has the advantage of uh, quick results as well.